What's going on guys? Brian Matthews here with another video for you from Southern Pine Outdoors. And today's video is gonna be on the Ridge Rocker Turkey Calls. Um, unboxing specifically, uh, just gonna show you what I have picked up for the 2021 turkey season. And uh, I will do periodically throughout the next couple of weeks, the individual calls themselves and show you how to use them. Um, my first impressions on the calls will be today, but as far as actually trying to use them, um, some of these I've never used before. Um, some of them I've had a little bit of practice with themselves and some of them are just self-explanatory on how to use them. But uh, anyways, so stay tuned for those. Hit that subscribe button uh, so that you can get notifications and the little bell so you can get notifications for when I post the next couple of videos for the individual calls themselves. But let's get into this unboxing. This is not the box that it came in. I can assure you it says Amazon. Um, just figured it, unboxing, I was going to put it in a box. It, it Anyways, I threw away the, uh, the actual packaging because I got so excited. Um, so anyways, getting to the unboxing. The first thing that we're going to look at is the wonderful owl call that they have. Um, this owl call uh, from Ridge Rocker comes with the lanyard, which is awesome. This is a pretty legit lanyard. Um, it's got the zebra wood on it. It's got their name engraved. I don't know if y'all can see that too well. Um, engraved right there on top of the call. And then, you know, the reed and everything's built in. Uh, great durable call. I can assure you it sounds awesome. This is more of a barn owl call. Um, so if you, if you've got a local owl, that's a barn owl, um, you can get some other owl sounds out of it if you practice just a little bit, but, uh, a great asset for turkey hunting, especially obviously in the early mornings, um, owl calls used for a locator call. Um, basically when you go to blow it and make the, the owl sound, the turkeys will gobble. Uh, the next one that I picked up is the. Ridge Rocker uh, Crow Call. Uh, this one, once again, is uh, built with that, that lanyard attached and everything. Um, it's got a little spring to where you can pull it back and take the tension off the rope. If you need to replace the lanyard or you just want to carry the call itself, you can do that with both the Owl Call and the Crow Call. Once again, this is a uh, zebra wood and the, obviously the reed's built in uh, to the to the call. The thing that I noticed right offhand was this split. I don't know if y'all can see that too well. Maybe when I do the in-depth video, um, I will show that a little bit better. But uh, that split just kind of threw me off at first. And so I went to pick it up and blow into it. And I was like, man, this thing actually sounds like a crow. And so as I'm blowing it here in the house, I'm actually hearing the crows outside and they're actually responding to me. So uh, once again, this is another locator call for um, maybe those mid mornings, early afternoons. You can sometimes blow the crow call, even in the mornings, uh, blow that crow call and uh, the, the turkeys will respond. The, uh, the third thing that I picked up is the Ridge Rocker uh, mouth calls. I will leave a description for uh, for all these calls, um, as far as links and everything, it comes in an, an awesome little can with their brand on it. And, uh, I, I've never had that before with any of my other calls. Uh, to be honest with you, I've always bought the, the cheap Walmart calls or the cheap, uh, Primo's calls that you see online or, you know, at this big box stores and never really have purchased uh, true handmade calls before. Um, and, and like I say, I've never even opened up these mouth calls, but I can tell already the quality of them is superb compared to, uh, to the ones that you buy in the store. And I will do a, a separate video on that as well um, to help you guys out that are looking for calls. Yes, these may be a little bit more expensive. I believe these mouth calls just themselves are around $30. Um, I, I believe the owl call and the, uh, 
the crow call are about thirty dollars or so a piece and uh i can tell you right now it's well worth the money um as far as what you're getting and everything out of it uh I, I think having the little can is a great idea um, for for turkey hunting. Uh, typically what I do is I will put the one that I like the most um, as far as the sound um, or the one that I have the most experience with. I'll go ahead and put that either in my mouth or in, in, a, in a little pocket or something right on my vest and then keep the can or keep the rest of the mouth calls in my pocket my lower vest pocket um, and if the turkeys seem to be hemmed up or something like that I'll pull out a different one and see if making a different sound or just a slight variation of what I'm already doing to see if they will respond or, or come in into gun range or uh, bow range for you. The final call that I picked up is the glass call and to be honest with you I've never had a glass call before I've always gone with slate, so this is going to be really new to me. Um, this particular one, I, I just went with what I I thought was their kind of their preferred one. Um, it's called the Perfect Storm, and with all the rain we've been having lately, you know, I was like, well, why why not? Uh, so this is what they call a double glass call, and I can do this without everything falling. There we go. Uh, the uh, you can see the, the double glass in there, uh, and that perfect storm written on there. That's that's pretty awesome. They do have some custom made calls that they can actually put your picture in, which I think is pretty cool as well. And. Uh, this once again is that zebra wood. I just went ahead and went with all different or all the same woods just to get the uh, the full effect of that zebra wood. They have other woods that you can choose from or select from for each individual call. And then you've got your striker as well. This particular striker, I believe, is what they call the purple heart and I want to say white pine. Um, but uh, that's the, the striker itself is the important part, that Purple Heart. Um, they do have some other uh, strikers that you can buy individually. Most of their calls, if not all of their calls, come with this particular uh, striker. But you can buy additional strikers as well if there's a specific sound that you're wanting to get out of it. Um, the final thing that I picked up is the Ridge Rocker Stone uh, basically it's like your little sandpaper that you used to use back in the day that's what i've always used on my slate calls it's just a real fine sandpaper grit and uh, so having a, an actual tool that's meant for glass i figured that was going to be a lot better than that sandpaper so uh so uh i picked up one of these never used it before and i actually learned something the other day from watching some youtube videos uh, that you're actually supposed to go in the same direction every time. I was always told back in the day on the slate calls, you go in a circle pattern. You still sand in that same spot, but you go in a circle pattern. But I, I, I guess I was doing it wrong all these years. Um, but hopefully, like I say, I can get some videos made for you so we can specifically hear what these sound like. Um, that particular call, that perfect storm, I did not mention that one's probably about $60 on their website. Um, I will leave a the link in the description, like I say, for each individual call as well as their main website so that you can go through and pick out what you want. Um, they also have apparel, they have hats, um, I believe they have some t-shirts and things like that as well as decal stickers. Um, this one particularly, here particularly is supposed to go on your gun barrel. Um, I will probably put this on the truck somewhere or on the toolbox or um, in the shop or something. But uh, like I say, check them out. Ridge Rocker Turkey Calls, they're a great company to uh, be affiliated with. 
and help out and uh, they are local. All these uh, calls are handmade here in the US so that's another thing is they're not made in China or anything like that and uh, they are based out of Kentucky. So uh, once again, try to support local businesses, uh, especially USA businesses. Uh, if you can, I know they might be a little bit more expensive than what you're normally used to buying big box and buying things off of Amazon and all. But uh, anywhere I can, I try to help out those local businesses. So um, anyways, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. I'd love to help you out with any questions on your turkey season coming up in 2021 or any questions in regards to this video. And uh, we'll, we'll get you squared away on that. And uh, make sure to subscribe so that you can see the other videos for the individual uh, turkey call reviews and hit that like button. Thanks for watching and have a great one.